Good night, everybody. How are you today, Yanira, Diana? Good night, sir. Nice to see you here again, Yanira. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't see you yesterday. Hi, teacher. Cansada, además estoy tomando un medicamento que me da sueño. Really? Oh my God. Yes. Okay. Así es que a las siete y media ni sentía que horas me quedé dormida. Desperté 20 a las 10 ya para que entrara. Okay. Well, Good, night, Good night, Diana. How are you today? I mean, where are you now? Very good. <laughs> you are getting into your house. Está llegando a su casa. Good morning. No, trayendo a la niña. Ya voy para mi casa. Ah, de verdad. Ya oh me voy a <laughs> Casi no se parece. Hi. Casi no se parece a usted. <laughs> es mi gemela. <laughs> yes. Good night. Hi, darling. How are you today? <laughs> okay. I know where to stop. Okay, ah, the attendance. Okay, the attendance. The attendance. The attendance. Finish. Okay. <laughs> hey there, Kandrai, how are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? I have a fun day. Really? No tired. Yes. I have a fun day. A fun day. Very, Thank very you. good. Vanessa, we missed you yesterday, Vanessa. Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> we missed you yesterday, Vanessa. Abraham, how are you today, Abraham? So tired, teacher. Really? Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh really? Good. Good night, Jorge. Hi, good night, teacher. Good. Remember, guys, Vanessa and Abraham, that something you have to be with a camera. Okay, I got it. Teacher, es que no sé, cuando enciendo la cámara, como que se trabe el audio. Pero ah, vale. ahorita sí, me, a no, no se preocupe, o sea, por lo menos, vaya, si ese es el detalle, al trate de estar alternando, al menos cuando sale y todo, ¿verdad? si usted dice, mire, mi internet es lento, eh, trate en la medida de lo posible, eh, pues, pero si usted siente eso, pues, go down, amen. pero uh -huh. eh, no es problema, entonces, Vanes, eh, Vanessa. América, welcome again, América, I know that you have been busy. Very good. Good night, teacher. Good night, America. Nice to see you. <laughs> you look like tired. You, I mean, you look like so younger. Todavía luce más joven. I don't know what, what, what have you done? De pelada, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pero quizás como nada con el pelo suelto lo anda bien. I mean, <laughs> that's why. Claribel Rosales. Good night, night teacher. Are you driving? Good no, night, you are at home. Yes, yeah. 
you are at home. Very good. Thank you, Bishop. Okay, guys. Three past three past eight. We go for the attendance. Okay. Um, America Beatriz Garcia Herrera. Present. Very good. Bernardo Javier Aquino. Diana Gabriela Martinez Escobar. Present teacher. Very good. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present. Fátima del Carmen Portillo de Hernández. Flor Idalia Turcios Luna. Francisca Yanira Arevalo Rodríguez. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo, Jorge Alfredo Arqueta. Present teacher. Mauricio Alexander Majano. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Nuria Elizabeth Nerio Vargas. Aris Abraham Rivera López. Present teacher. Very good. Rocío Katia Marita Martínez Cubillas. Joana Alvarado Gaitán. Zaira Vanessa Velázquez Quinteros. Present teacher. Very good. Salvador Edgardo Escobar Vázquez. Sara Carolina Jiménez Flores. Present teacher. Very good. Saúl Adolfo Beltrán. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Very good. Nancy Guadalupe Erazo. No. Soy la Claribel Rosales Bernal. Present teacher. Very good. We are online. I'm going online. We are online. Okay. Ah, Rocio, you are here now. Rocio. Hi, Katia Marisa Martinez Cubillas. Present. Very good. I want to see who's, who else. So, my God. What about the others? So, as I told you yesterday, <clears throat> so again, welcome to the English National Program, okay? PNIT, o Programa Nacional de Inglés para el Trabajo. This is the class number 13. I mean, the, la the next week is the last week. Remember that maybe during this week or the next week, you are gonna have an evaluation for your tutor, okay? So you have to evaluate me and uh, be free to evaluate me. I mean, the, uh, don't be shy evaluating. You have to send the evaluation. The next week, remember, you are gonna have also uh, the, <clears throat> the INSA for uh, survey it's gonna be sending to you. Uh, and remember that you have to do the INSA for Sorry, uh, with me in the last class, okay? Uh, you have to remember that. Please, uh, <clears throat> that's it, take into account that. After that, uh, you have to remember that yesterday we uh, started the ongoing activities with the present progressive and versus the simple present and that's that's why you have to remember again simple present and you have to join with the future with the present progressive okay then we are gonna see now let me see we are gonna see uh, <laughs> that's it the I'll stop just here uh, it's here Okay. 
Oh. Okay, it's here. Okay, I got it. Don't be that this place. Okay, present continuous WH question is the topic for today. Remember, my name is Carlos Najarro. This is the beginner two. This is the class number 13. Okay. And the topic of yesterday was the comparison between present simple or simple persons versus continuous. Okay. And remember that the simple present is used to have its regular, ha regular actions or situations, okay? Facts, permanent situations or states with state, state verbs and future timetable events. Present continuous is for action in progress now or around, 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 around now temporary actions or situations, changing or developing situations and future actions that are decided. This is the, <clears throat> the use of the present continuous. We have the example, the examples here. I wash my heart every day, okay? Every day, that's a routine, okay? I always, uh, I always wash my hair. Facts, I have one brother. He lives in Paris, okay? I have one brother. Uh, right now it's a fact. Que es un hecho que usted tiene un hermano, dos hermanos, que se yo es un hecho, su familia. Y más si es tan grande, dudo mucho que pueda tener otros. So, por eso es un hecho. Okay, con verbos eh, de afirmación como give me the money, okay? I need it now. Dame el dinero que lo necesito ahorita. Mm. Teacher. Oh, dígame. What is a statue verb? O sea, verbos, como le llaman, verbos quietos, por así decirlo. Verbo, verbos, eh, ¿cómo le puedo decir? Sí puedo saber la palabra, pero no se la, en este caso es una de las pocas que podría decir, mire, se la describo. Yo sé qué significa, pero ahorita... Vemos, no se preocupe. Okay. Veamos, ajá. Se les conoce como verbos de estado. O sea que estos verbos describen el estado de algo. Por eso es que son verbos eh, eh, de estativo, eh, okay? son de estados. ¿Por qué? Porque, por ejemplo, en este caso, look es un verbo de ese tipo. Porque está describiendo cómo usted se ve. ¿Mm? Son verbos. Ajá, les conocen como de estado. Es decir, ¿cómo le explico? Eh, por eso es que le digo que no, 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 no les sabría eh, más o menos, eh, digamos, dice, ajá, expre, expressing an state or condition. O sea, expresan un estado o una condición. Ajá. Eso es lo que dice la, la gramática y así dice, o sea, que expresa un estado o una condición como gustar, querer, creer y son usados únicamente en estado simple, no en oraciones progresivas. ¿Mm? O sea que eso es o, lo que o pasa. O sea que hay verbos ya específicos para ese tipo de, de uso. Exacto. O sea, hay unos verbos, de hecho, por eso usted ve aquí, ve aquí abajo. Si puede ver, la tomo, voy a ver si la pongo acá. Están, por ejemplo, verbos que dije de sentidos. Here, por ejemplo, y explicaba ayer que here es un verbo que usted dice yo oigo. Pero usted no dice yo oigo, yo estoy oyendo música. Porque la diferencia es que usted está escuchando música. Uh -huh. Es diferente oír y escuchar. ¿Ah? Lo mismo sí, que es un verbo, o sea, de ver, pero cuando yo estoy hablando de, eh, de ver, por ejemplo, prestar atención, cuando estoy viendo algo, estoy hablando de watching. ¿ah? Smelling ex explicaba que a usted casi no dice smelling porque aunque andamos respirando, casi toda la vida andamos oliendo algo. Por eso es que no se usan, o sea, no se usan mucho con ING. No es que no se usen, pero rara vez se usan en ese sentido. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, like, 
que creo que no está aquí, like jamás va a decir, I am liking. I am liking the pupusas. O sea, usted dice, I like to eat pupusas. Por ejemplo, me gusta comer pupusas, pero me están gustando las pupusas. Es como que no se usa. No es que no se pueda usar, pero suena raro en inglés. Porque volvemos a que son verbos que ya dije que expresan un estado o una condición. Y rara, o sea, no se usan con oraciones progresivas, dice. O por lo menos no se usan comúnmente. Eso es lo que sucede, Rocío. Questions, Rocío. Ah, sí, no muy clara. No la veo, no la veo muy convencida. Entonces, esos verbos donde dice verbs of the sense. Uh -huh. Eso no los ocupo en ING, sino en present simple. O sea, va, a ver, hago la aclaración. Casi no se usan. No es que no se usen, pero casi no se usan. Porque algunas de estas cosas no se pueden demostrar. They cannot be demonstrated. ¿Ok? Algunas de estas, por ejemplo, vaya. Eh, love no es que no se use. Porque sí se usa. Pero es rara vez se usa, porque el love usted no puede demostrar, o sea, el amor, si no usa otras cosas, por así decirlo. Porque son este, lo que se le conoce como ver, bueno, en español, they are, they, they, they are knowing as abstract ideas, como ideas abstractas. O sea, usted no puede demostrar esas ideas abstractas. El amor en español es una idea abstracta. Hay sustantivos concretos y abstractos. En este caso, el sustantivo abstracto es el amor. Es una expresión decir te amo mucho, pero ¿cuánto es mucho? ¿Mm? Te amo poco, pero ¿cuánto es poco? No es algo that you can show, that it can be demonstrated. Aunque, por ejemplo, voy a buscar una canción que, de Scorpion hace años que dice I'm still loving you. Yo, te, yo te, aún te sigo amando. I'm still loving you, I need your love, I'm still loving you. O sea, no es que no se use, pero es poco común su uso en ese sentido. Y el, el, es poco común para todos los verbos que están ahí abajo, donde dice Exacto, oso, niña, exacto. Ah. Es poco común para esos verbos. O sea, por decir que es raro, casi nunca, pues. Uh -huh. No es que no lo vaya a hallar en algún momento pero es poco común su uso. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, dígame. O sea que no son como verbos de una acción como tal, son más como, como emocionales o, o así. Exacto. Okay. Exacto. La mayoría de ellos. Ok. Sí, son más como, son como dicen ustedes, verbos de sentidos. Oír, ver de los cinco sentidos. Este es oír, por ejemplo, es, este es ver, este es, smell es oler, look es ver, sim es parecer, y sound es, es como este, palpar. Los verbos de opinión, believe, considero, o sea, son verbos que expresan, como les digo, una condición. Como usted dice, podría llamarse, si lo quiere ver en Spanish, como eh, abstractos. O sea, que en realidad eh, no se pueden de alguna forma palpar. ¿Mm? O como usted dice, Claribel, no representan acciones concretas. Ok. Pero sí existen, porque usted piensa. Uh -huh. Todos pensamos de hecho, pero, pero ¿cómo sé yo ahorita qué está pensando usted? How do I know what are you thinking about? ¿Cómo sé qué estás pensando? ¿Ah? Y aún así me oyeron cuando diga, what are you thinking about? ¿Sobre qué estás pensando? No es que no se usen, pero su uso con ING es, es poco común. Por eso que es más decir que son ver, con verbos stative. Ok, let me see. Sorry. Uh -huh. Ajá, es stated. Ajá, stated. Stated. Ok. Any other question, guys? No. This is just a review of yesterday's topic. Ok. This is just a review. Ok. And 
aquí, por ejemplo, en el presente simple, no, acá, si ustedes ven, no hay ninguna oración en negativa ni ninguna oración en interrogativa. No por eso es que no se usen. Lo mismo acá. If you see, there are just examples of eh, interroga of uh, affirmative. There are just examples of affirmative. Y esta que usa can't, ok, I can't talk. Pero este es otro verbo. Como dicen, esta es another history, otra historia. O class for another day. But remember that in this also you have to include the interrogative and the negative. Aunque aquí en los ejemplos ahorita no aparezcan, sí tienen que considerar esas estructuras. Ok. Question, guys. No. Ok. Then we go for the next one. What is, what do we have next? We have a remembering that we studied in the first unit, but these are the WH questions, ok? WH questions, ok? Remember, these are the WH questions that we have for place where, and we have an example. Where do you live? Ok? When, when it's time, when did he arrive? Okay. Why, that is for reason. Why did you leave? ¿Por qué te vas? Because I was tired, porque estaba cansado. Uh, o porque te fuiste, es, perdón, that's the point. ¿Por qué te fuiste? Why did you leave? Okay. What, what do you need? ¿Qué necesito? I need money. <laughs> I need your car. Okay, I need your car. Time. What time did he call? A qué horas te llamó? Lástima que acá, pero lo tienen que saber ya usando un poquito de, 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 de eh, about the past. But point, it, it could be uh, present. That's the same. How do you go? A quien ves de did puede ser do. How do you go? ¿Cómo te vas a ir o cómo te vas? By car. How often do you go? How often do you go to work? Every day. How often do you go to visit your parents? Okay, every month or once a month. How old? How old is your sister? Okay, how old is your sister? Hmm? How old is your sister? And those are the WH questions for. Veamos, vamos a hacer ejemplos. Ya los leímos los ejemplos. Hoy haga usted ejemplos. Sara, un ejemplo, use cualquiera. Pero por favor, no, no solo juegue. Traten de usarlos todos para que duden, para que se equivoquen. El problema es que you don't want to use all of them. No quieren usarlos todos de ellos porque creen que con nosotros se van a equivocar. Pero si nos equivocamos, aprendemos todos de los errores de los demás. Ok, Sara. Do a question, please. Diferente a la que está escrita, por favor. Don't be. Um, mm -hmm. Ay, no sé, pich. Come on, Sara. Ay, no, no sé. No se me ocurre a mí. Vaya, vamos a pasar a Rocío y después la vuelvo con usted, Sara. Ok, teacher. Ok, gracias. Rocío. Where did you born? Ah, en, está usando ya una estructura de pasado, pero en todo caso la estructura es where was. Ah, where was you born? Ajá. Y en todo caso la estructura es where, para ser exacto. ¿Se recuerdan que en la primera unidad enseñé esa palabra? Where were you born? ¿Dónde naciste? Where were you born? Ajá, exactly. That's it. Where were you born? ¿Qué quiere decir? ¿Dónde naciste? Recuérdense que es for place, ¿verdad? ¿Qué voy a contestar aquí? Place. ¿Ah? Place, because it's where were you born. ¿Dónde naciste? In my case, I was born in San Salvador. Okay. I am capitalino. Nuria. Bye, teacher. Uh -huh. um, when you when you go to the beach, 
¿Cómo? ¿Otra vez? When Ajá. you go to the beach. ¿Qué le falta a eso? Uh, do. En este caso es do. ¿Qué es esta? When do you go to the beach? Ajá. ¿Cuándo vas a la playa? Mm. Uh -huh. Uh, maybe in, in November, maybe my birthday's mm. wife in my in my birthday's in my yeah in my birthday's in my wife's birthday's yeah that's it, my wife's birthday. Okay, teacher. Thank you, Claribel Rosales. Hi, teacher. Hi. A ver. How often do you clean your room? Oh my God, maybe every, every three or four days or every weekend when I'm mm, a kind okay. of free. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Vicky. Hi, teacher. Hi. How often do you go to the park with my family? With How your often? family. Ah, sí, porque con su familia hay en Japón. No, <ríe> okay, bien, señora, with parece. your family. Con su familia no me acuerdo de haber ido, está bien. <ríe> Repítame mm. la pregunta que me perdió esa parte. Y dije, ¿Cómo hacer? How often do you go to the park with your family? Ah, how often do you go to the park with your family? Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, Three times a year, maybe. When the pandemic couldn't go, but three times a year. Okay. Pero sí. sí, porque con su familia, never. <laughs> <laughs> a rato. <laughs> okay, okay. Ever de Jesús Candray. The teacher, uh, what, do, what do you have to do at weekend? At weekend, uh, I have to go to get some documents with my family. Thanks. Okay, Jorge. Hi, teacher. Hi. Um, <coughs> when come we go for a walk? Ah, Otra vez. When can we go for a walk? ¿De dónde está bien esa oración? <risa> en el traducto. Me está usando, está, va, perfecto. Sí entiendo la oración. ¿Cuándo podemos ir a una caminata? ¿Verdad? Ajá, sí. When, when can we go for a walk? ¿Cuándo podemos ir por una caminata? Ok. We have to plan. Just you tell me, I mean. And we have to plan because your schedule is very busy. Uh, but thank you. Perfecto. Solo que la estructura está bien, pero la estructura es can, Jorge, pero it's okay, Jorge. Okay. Can. can es otra estructura que no hemos visto ahorita, pero es poder. Okay. Yes. Mr. Beltrán. Hi, teacher. Me Hi. Escucha. Yes. Okay. Uh, When will your vacation be? Oh, me está usando. Está bien, niños, me parecen, pero me está usando una, una estructura de futuro. When will be your vacations? Okay. okay. Uh, I think so that they are going to be on August. I will have a, a vacation, a week of vacation in August. Okay. Thank you. August. Very August. Good. Yeah, August. Yeah. Zaira. Tengo una duda. Dígame, very good. Le voy a, le voy a decir, eh, where, where do you buy your clothes? Es ah, okay. donde, pero ¿Sí? es donde compras tu ropa. Pero si le preguntara, pero ah. si le preguntara, ¿dónde compraste? Ah, lo que pasa es de que vaya. Este, ¿dónde compraste? Es, ¿Qué estructura es? Es una pasada. 
es la diferencia. Es una Guarda, pasada. Sí. No. ¿Sí? Este, no, no deben de ir, pero sí, así es. Eh, deal. Ok, deal es para el pasado, donde compraste. Y como usted dice, el do es decir, ¿dónde compras? Where do you ah. buy your clothes? ¿Dónde compras tu ropa? Where do you buy your clothes? Ok, I buy my clothes. I mean, I don't have a specific place. Maybe this kind of, of shirts. A bit before. I don't like to buy too much clothes. I don't like. When I buy, maybe I can go just to get a uh, manga largas. I don't remember how do you say long leaves. Creo que dices long leaves. Long leaves shirts. O sea, camisas manga larga. Maybe in Pierre Cardin. Y, y what is the other one? In Wilson. Yeah. Wow. No, come on. Es que solo ellos tienen de mi talla y cómo me ajustan. No problem. Es como que si me preguntara dónde compro zapatos, me cuesta. Believe it or not. I'll donate. Because I have a big size. I am 11 or 43, 44. I cannot buy shoes in whatever place. No puedo comprar zapatos mm -hmm. en cualquier lugar. Believe it or not. No. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> That's why. Miss Eraso. Hi, teacher. Hi, Miss Eraso. Um, why did you cry yesterday? Oh my God, why did you cry yesterday? <laughs> How do you know that I cried? Oh my God. I, <laughs> I cried because, I mean, I was sick. I was a kind of sick. That's why I was crying. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, no sé qué dijo, quisiera saber. I was... Dije que lloré porque estuve enfermo. I cried, que es en el pasado, because I was sick, uh -huh. porque estaba enfermo. Sí. Ajá. That's why. Okay. Este, América me dice sí o no. Because I know that you're busy. No. Uh, I don't know, teacher. Ok, vale. Entonces, perfecto. La dejo ahí. In peace. Ok. Mauricio Majano. Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, how many languages do you know? How many languages do you know? Do you speak? At, at now, just I speak two languages, but I would like, I mean, I mean um, como dicen los salvadoreños, estoy pero así de tomar unos cursos de iragana y japonés, entre otras cosas. But at the, at the moment, just two languages, Mauricio. Okay. Diana. What time do you go to sleep? Well, uh, maybe 11 or more, 11 and a half, maybe because I have to, uh, I have to upload and see the video. Present teacher. Tengo... Okay, thank you, my darling. <laughs> Present teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's a hell, very good. At 11 o'clock or more, Diana. 11 o'clock or more, maybe. Later. Yeah, later, yeah. That's it. Nuria, have you asked me? Ya me preguntó, Nuria. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Joanna, I don't see your face, Joanna, because you are very dark. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hi, Joanna. We are asking. Hi, teacher. Estamos haciendo preguntas usando esto. Bye, yo hice una, pero. Vamos. When we, when we will go to the beach with the group of class. Oh my God, very good. Solo que me está en futuro. You have to ask uh, to each one sorry. of them, pero está bien. No, no está bien. La estructura está bien. ¿Cuándo vamos a ir al playa con el grupo de clases? Very good. Yes. Good question. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Solo que ya está usando la estructura de futuro. When will you go? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But that's okay. The question is okay. And también, maybe... Uh, 
when we have time, maybe on vacation, maybe. I don't know. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thanks. Janira. Hi, teacher. Hi, Janira. What time do you? Uh, what time do you start day? What time do you start your day? A qué horas empiezas tu día? Mm, yes. About for about about five o'clock. Okay. Five, five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Saúl ya le pre, ya me preguntó, verdad? Yes. Yes, teacher. Claribel también. Uh -huh. Yes. Abraham. Yeah, teacher, ya fue. Thank you, Abraham. Hi, teacher. Uh, okay. Uh, why did you start studying English? Oh, fast, fast. Why did you study English? Because first I like, and it was my reality because I know that I I want I wanted to study uh, ingeniería en física nuclear. But there, no. that, that career doesn't exist here, just in Costa Rica. <laughs> so then I was thinking, what do I do in Costa? What do I have to do in Costa Rica? There, there is no money to pay my studies in Costa Rica. My second choice was study English because always uh, I like the music in English. You know, that's why I like the music in English, and and I think that uh, analyzing the. I anal analyzing the marketing when I started to study, it was a nice marketing. You can be a teacher, you can work for a call center, or even you can go to the USA and maybe you have in advance the language. That's why. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Somebody is missing, please tell me. Somebody's missing. Zaira. Have you done before Sara? Sara, ya lo hizo, verdad? Sí. Okay. Solo Sara es cierto. Sara, okay. Sara, we go with you again. Ajá, Sara. When do you visit the supermarket? Ah, very good. Every week because my wife eh, commands me. <laughs> Every week, every every weekend at, at, at on Saturday or on Sunday, I have to be at the supermarket because it's uh, one of my one of my tasks assigned. Es una de mis tareas asignadas. Ya mi mamá me dijo, hijo, no te cases, but I did. <laughs> okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, guys. I mean. That's <clears throat> the way, but also we have to see how do we use them. Oh my God. How do we use them? Let me see, I'm gonna share again. How do we use? Okay, look at here, there is a new word almost, it is not too much use, but there is a new word. Okay, look at here, who it uses, to, it's used, it is used, to ask about people. It's never used to ask about things, which it is used to ask about people and things when there is a choice to make. Como cuando usted tiene que elegir entre dos amigos, llamémosle así, y usted dice, which one, cuál pues, okay? Tiene que elegir entre los dos. Ahí usa which, which one, cuando ya tiene una decisión, tiene que tomar una decisión y ya tiene las opciones. I use a which, what it is used to ask about people, animal, and things, okay? Whose it's used to ask about who the possessor of something is. Esta es casi no se usa, pero es la que usamos para decir de quién es la posesión de algo, okay? Cuando estamos hablando de la posesión de algo, whose is this, de quién es esto, ¿Ah? ¿De quién es esto? Uh, when it, we use, we use it when we want to ask about time. Clear. Where we use it when uh -huh, we use it 
when we want to ask about place, okay? Quite, we use it when we want to ask about reason. And always the answer for why is because, because, por qué me dejaste? Why did you leave me? Or por qué me dejas? Why do you leave me? Because I don't want, because I don't have money, porque no tengo dinero, because I don't have a work, porque no tengo un trabajo, because, y usted puede inventarse ahí las razones. Porque because I'm ugly. Sé, ¿Ah? ¿Por qué? Because I'm ugly. Ah, ok. Also could be, porque soy feo, dice Abraham. Because I'm ugly, ok. <laughs> y ahí puede inventarse. Because I am... Eh, Angry porque soy muy enojado. Because I am an eater porque soy un comelón. I don't know. Pero ahí okay. invéntese algo. <ríe> ¿Por qué lo deja? Ok. Flor, good night, Flor. Nice to see you. Good night, teacher. Entonces, that's, I mean, why. Uh, it's how do we use why and how we use it to ask about people, events, and the and the way the things are done, okay? How is it, como esta eso? How old well are you, como estas tu? Uh, how do you buy these clothes? Como compraste esta ropa, o como compras esta ropa? Uh, how es siempre como, o como cuantos? Ya lo vimos, how many, or how much? Solo vimos in the first unit, que how much es para preguntar cuánto vale? How many? How much bitcoins do you have? ¿Cuánto bitcoins tiene, niños? How much bitcoins do you have? Okay. Por ejemplo, aunque you know that the pennies of bitcoins, they are called satoshis. Ustedes ya sabían que los centavos que de los bitcoins dicen que le llaman satoshis. Porque creo que algunos de nosotros nunca veremos un bitcoin jamás en nuestra cartera. Que ahorita vale, I don't know, 38,000, 38,000. Ah, entonces, creo que en la vida llenaremos con un Bitcoin nuestra cartera. So, entonces, es how yeah. many satoshis do you have? ¿Cuántos satoshis tiene? Que son cuántos centavos de Bitcoin tiene. Y le va a aparecer 0.00000020, 20 por lo menos. ¿Ok? Teacher. Hi. Eh, what is the... Uh -huh. ¿Cómo es? Espérame. Who is the different... Uh, about who and who's. Ah. Who es para preguntar de las personas. Y who's es para preguntar de lo que les pertenece. O quién es But el the que pronunciation posee. pronunciación is good. No, una es who y la otra es who's. 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 Exactly. Who's. Who's. Yeah, who's. Ok, teacher. Veamos. Who's. Who's. Whose? 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 Who's. 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 Ajá. Who, ah, lo que pasa es que a veces para whose ya tenemos que tener eh, qué es. Digamos, por ejemplo, usted ha dejado, bueno, en su cuarto hay unos zapatos que usted no sabe de quién son. Y usted puede preguntar, whose are these? ¿De quién son esos zapatos? ¿Ok? Ajá, así es. ¿De quién son esos zapatos? Ajá. Ajá. Y también, bueno, a veces, bueno, así se usa como pregunta. Ajá. Cabal, who's are these? ¿Mm? Eso es. That's the point. No son lo mismo. Son un tanto diferentes. Any other question, guys? Porque hoy sí está bonita la página de trabajo. Hoy solo van a hablar. No quiero a nadie hablando español. Hoy se van a dar divertir hablando inglés. It's a nice page. What? Woo. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Okay. So, remember, how is the structure? Okay. ¿Cuál es la estructura? Look at here. Question word first. Question word. Auxiliary. Subject. Verb. Ah, y esto 
aplica tanto for present o simple present como para el presente este, progressive. Porque ahora lo que estamos viendo así, esto es acerca del presente progressive. Por ejemplo, ayer vimos en la página algunas. ¿ah? Por ejemplo, veíamos, vamos a ver en texto. Veíamos una pregunta que decíamos. When are you leaving? ¿Cuándo te vas? Sorry. Leaving. ¿Cuándo te vas? When are you leaving? Ok. Vamos a ir con la estructura. Question where. Question word, oh my God. Question word, vamos a ponerle por aquí. Ay. Oh my God. Bueno, question word, auxiliary, subject, y verb. Miren, ah, pues si cumple la estructura. When are you leaving? Ah. ¿Ok? Sí cumple la estructura. Y esto haciendo un present progressive, ¿ok? ¿Ah? Cuando a usted la vieron con alguien, por ejemplo, y usted no sabía que la vieron y le pregunta a la persona, how do you know? ¿Cómo lo sabes? ¿Ah? ¿Cumple la estructura? How do you know? ¿Cómo lo sabes? Usted decía, nadie me vio allá en el restaurante. But, I mean... Alguien la vio y le dice, ya te vi comiendo con fulana, con mengana. Entonces, you say, how do you know? ¿Cómo lo sabes? ¿Ah? Entonces, that's the point. Let's going to see. Ok. What is the form? For the begin WH question in present progressive with a question word like what, where, why, who, or how. Use am, is, or are. To the ing form of the verb. Look at here, la forma. What am I doing? ¿Qué estoy haciendo? ¿Ah? ¿Qué estoy haciendo yo? ¿Me estoy durmiendo? ¿Estoy prestando atención? ¿Estoy comiendo? ¿Estoy en otra cosa? Where is he going? Cuando le pregunta, ¿y para dónde va? Él, obviamente, ¿verdad? Where is he going? That's the structure, ¿ok? Where is he going? ¿Dónde va él o dónde se está yendo? Va, y por eso aquí también, cuando a usted, más que todas las señoritas o las señoritas preguntan, decían ayer, ¿con quién estás reunido? Who are you meeting? ¿Con quién estás reunido? Ah? ¿A quién le estabas hablando? ¿A quién le estabas, qué sé yo? Ya sabe usted cómo va la cosa, va. Who are you meeting? Ah? Usted sabe a qué me refiero. Entonces, that's the structure, okay? The structure goes first. WH question, verb to be, subject, and ING verb form. Okay? Guys, do you have any question till here? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta hasta acá? No, teacher. No, teacher. Excelente. Ya cuando empiezan a hacer los ejercicios, salen. Va. <laughs> Here, <no. laughs> Here is everything clear, okay? Everybody understood. But when you are doing the exercises, teacher, I don't know. Understand. Teacher, help me. <laughs> okay? But now everybody is here saying, okay, is it clear? Okay? Ah, oh, that's it. <laughs> Complete your exercises. Check the classes on YouTube. That's my avatar. It's a little... Solo que él fue a la playa y yo no. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He went to the beach. I didn't. <laughs> okay. So then, those are the WH questions. Where, when, how, what, what time, how, how often, and how old. These are the WH questions. Place, time, reason, object, idea, or action, time, manner, frequency, and age. And this is not just for age, because we have here how it's used to ask about people, events, and the way things are done, what people, animals, and things, why it's always by reasons, 
where is always by place, when is always by time, which is to ask about people, things when there is a choice to make, when you have a choice, okay? Cuando tiene un, una, una elección. Mira, teacher, y si no tengo una elección, ¿cuál uso? ¿Cuál usaría? Which of, which word did you use? ¿Cuál, which word do you use? Sorry. ¿Cuál palabra usaría si no tengo una elección? Y no te, no, and I can do with wish. Uh -huh. What? Exactly. What? Mm -hmm. Podría decir, what is your favorite? ¿Cuál es tu favorito? Pero si usted ya tiene dos ahí, por ejemplo, dos amigos, usted entonces pregunta, which one? ¿Cuál? Porque ya sabe a cuáles dos se está refiriendo. Ok, cuando ya tiene una elección. O dos chocolates, por ejemplo. Aunque las Señorita dirían los dos, vos. ¿Ah? Me gustaría elegir. Entonces, that's the point. Okay. And remember, question word auxiliary subject and verb. That is the structure that we have here. Okay. It's WH question. Auxiliary, en este caso, el verbo to be, toma el lugar de un auxiliary subject. That is I, he, you, she, whatever subject. And ING verb, verb form, ok? Todas las formas verbales de ING, las que se pueden, ok? Mm -hmm. That's it. Question about here, guys, about this topic. Mm -hmm. Que vamos a la parte de trabajo en la página, en, y ahí está bien, pidanme ayuda, pero imagino que espero haberles explicado very good. The explanation is very, I mean, it's very, uh, it's very complete. It's very clear. I don't know if you have any question. That's why if you have any question, you can do it now by example. And uh, I don't know. Questions? No questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have to memorize by heart the question words. Tiene que de aprenderse las de, 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 de memoria las este, question words, ¿cuáles son? What, who, where, how, which, whose, uh, y las variantes de how, how long, do, 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 do. that's it. Mm -hmm. No questions? No questions? No, teacher, everything, it's okay. okay. So, Vamos entonces rápido a hacer una pregunta, pero lo más rápido posible para que después pasemos a la hoja. Usando el presente continuo, ¿ok? Candray, Mr. Candray. Present continuo. Ya, yeah. usando WH question en present continuous. Ok. Mm -hmm. Which mm -hmm. which which I which I can cho choice which one can I choice cuál puede escoger uh -huh. which one which Ajá. Which one can I? En este choice. caso. Ajá. O si la quiere hacer en presente simple es Which one do you choose? ¿Cuál escoges o cuál eliges? Which one do you choose? Oh, no, pero no es choice, es choose. Choose. Ajá. Choose. Just choose. Which one do you choose? Yeah. Ok. Choice. Ajá. Choice es elección, pero es el noun. Es which one do you choose? Ok. That is choose. Which one do you choose? ¿Cuál eliges? Ok. Thank you. I mean, I know. Ruth Joana. Present teacher. <laughs> no, no yet. No yet. Es que son las nueve. No, faltan siete. 
Es que se me está cortando el, el inter, no sé por qué. Ah, bueno. Ay, esa parte, no, todo lo que he hablado ahorita no lo escuché, no entendí. De verdad, oh my God. Uh -huh. Bye. Entonces, como ya van a ser las nueve, pensé que estaba pasando listo. <risa> ok. Les comparto una imagen para lo que me pedí ayer, eh, Yancy. Me pedía cuáles son las reglas. Aunque no están escritas ahí, ahí están cuáles son las reglas. Verbos que terminan en consonante, se lo haré en ING. Verbos que terminan en Y, agregan nada más ING. Verbos que terminan en O, agregan ING. Verbos que terminan en A, en E, perdón, suprimimos la E y se les agrega ING. Uh -huh. Y verbos, por ejemplo, que terminan en y, por ejemplo, así como la I line, eh, pero cuando antes de la Y va una, eh, bueno, aunque eso no, eh, dice, se los le pone ING. Ese verbo es único, creo, en ese sentido, dependiendo de los ajá, pi, pi. Y las otras, los verbos que doblan las consonantes. P, T, I, W, I, M, perdón. Como es skip, skipping, put, putting, swim, swimming, cut, cutting. Esos son así a grandes rasgos. Ahora, si usted quiere que le mande la explicación gramática y un libro, con gusto. <ríe> I think that you are going to read, ¿ok? Creo que aquí está un poquito más claro. O sea, más así sencillo, pero claro. Ok. So, Sara, question, Sara. Uh, will you meeting on Saturday? Saturday? Where? Uh, no. Who? Where, who? No, where is that? Where or who? Cualquiera. Uh -huh. where, will, will you meeting on ah, Saturday? Where or, or who? Cualquiera de las dos. Pero where are you meeting on Saturday? Que es diferente. Recuérdese que tiene que estar el verbo to be. Where are you meeting? ¿Dónde te reúnes el sábado? Eh, en las cascadas. I'm going to have a meeting in las cascadas, okay? Yancy? Um, um, how are you? Uh -huh. um, um, <laughs> I'm so sick. Um, ay, no sé, teacher. Lo puedo pasar y después me pasa. <risa> ok. Es que estaba viendo ahorita lo que me había mandado. Ah, está bien, bien Nuria. Ok. Nuria, perdón, está bien, Jancy. Nuria. Um, how do you feel today? Ok, pero eso es present, simple present. Hágala esa misma, pero hágala en, en, en present progressive. El verbo es el que cambia, teacher. Exacto, the verb and after the uh, auxiliary. How, how did? No, how are you feeling? Oh, how, ya no lleva el do. No, porque Solo recuérdese how. que para el pre present progressive, ¿cuál es el auxiliar que usamos, por así decirlo? El verbo to be. El verbo to be. Exacto. Entonces uh -huh. sería how are you uh -huh. feeling? Exacto. Feeling today. Ya, yeah. ya. Yeah. Ok. Vaya, perfecto, Nuria. Pero es lo mismo que les decía que eso, por eso es de que no se usa así como feeling. Porque la misma pregunta es en presente. Realmente en presente es la pregunta. Solo le dije a Nuria que la hiciera así para que no complicarnos con la estructura. Pero la pregunta, ¿cómo te sientes tú? ¿Cómo te sientes hoy? ¿Cuál es? Es más en presente la que hizo Nuria. ¿Cuál fue la primera que hizo Nuria? How do you feel today? Exacto. Entienden el punto que ese es uno de los verbos stative, expresa una condición. Por lo tanto, casi es lo mismo preguntar, mm. How are you feeling today? Que how do you feel today? ¿Me entienden? Mm -hmm. ¿Comprenden esa parte? ¿Mm? Yo le dije a ella que hiciera por la estructura. How are you feeling? Pero la verdad es que la pregunta es, how do you feel today? ¿Ah? How do you feel? 
Ese es el punto. Por eso es que son verbos que expresan una condición. Es decir, que no necesitan ser expresados en presente progresivo para dar a entender esa condición. That's the point. Así como que Nuria en la cámara me demuestra que ve así como con biggest question marks above my head. No. Escucharé los ejemplos de mis compañeros. <ríe> ok. Jorge. Hi, teacher. Hi. I can go with you in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Vaya, Jorge. Lo único es que me está usando estructura de puedo. Y es más estructura este, de, eh, digamos, present progressive. Ah, progressive. Exacto. Y ahí ya me está usando pre, eh, estructura de Continue. puedo. Ajá. Como, how can, how can I go with you as by example? How can I? Eso es ya una estructura que sí la vamos a ver. Y está bien, Jorge, pero ahorita, para que nos vayamos acostumbrando, es una estructura de presente progresivo. Por ejemplo, progresivo. como las preguntas que hacíamos ayer. Where are you going? ¿Dónde vas? Uh, when, when are you leaving? O where are you leaving? ¿Para dónde vas? O cuándo te vas? Uh, o uh, how are you going? ¿Cómo te vas a ir? Uh, why are you going? ¿Por qué estás yendo? O why are, why are you leaving? ¿Por qué te vas? Ok, that's the point. Rocío. Gracias. Uh, what are you cooking this week? Excellent. What are you cooking this week? I don't know. So maybe um, I'm cooking. I'm cooking pasta. But do you cook, teacher? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Well, just to answer to you, I can. But I don't, ¿ok? Uh, ok, teacher. I can, but I don't. O sea, sí puedo, pero casi no lo hago. It's my wife who cooks. Always. Almost always. When, I mean, when she can, I can cook. My little, my, my, my well, my daughter says that I can cook. Uh, Mi hija dice que puedo cocinar. I think that I can, ¿ok? Ok. <laughs> Sorry, thank you. Ra Saúl Beltrán. Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, war room for me. Huh? War room for me. Who? Who? Room uh -huh. for ah, me. Who is running, maybe? Who is running for uh, me? For running. For... Ajá. ¿Quién está corriendo por mí? ¿Esa es la pregunta? Sí. ¿Quién? Ajá. Yes. Who is running for me? Exacto, pero es who is running? Who is running for me? Running for me. Okay. Exacto, who is running for me? Flor. Ok. La, voy a saltar la flor. No te preocupes. No, ah, ok. Este, <risa> con la comida en la garganta. I'm so sorry, no, Flor. Eh, no estuve desde el principio, teacher, pero. Uh -huh. eh, yo hice una, no sé si es Where are my shoes new? Where are my new shoes? Solo que estamos usando, exacto, esa es la estructura de presente, pero estamos usando también la estructura de progressive. ¿ah? Eh, por ejemplo, eh, where is going my sister? Por ejemplo, ¿dónde, está, ¿dónde va mi hermana? Where is going my sister? Es la estructura de WH question plus present progressive. ¿Ok? Fátima, thank you, Flor. Fátima. I have good night. Good night. How are you going to work? How are you going to work? ¿Cómo vas a ir a trabajar? Okay. Mm -hmm. By bus. Ah, oh, by car. No, I have a car. By, by car, sorry. Janira, thank you. Sí. No sé, teacher, si está bien la que he hecho. Tranquila, no la, se preocupe. That's la why we are ayer, correcting ¿verdad? here. Pero es, who is your best friend? Ah, perfecto. Solo que está bien en presente simple. ¿Quién mm -hmm. es tu mejor amigo? Who's your best friend? Ah. Okay. 
Por ejemplo, ahí de, diría, who are you going with? ¿Con quién está yendo? ¿Ok? Who Tienen que diferenciar with? esas para futuro, ese progression progressive o en el momento, ¿ok? Vicky Dinora. Okay. <laughs> Thank okay. you, Yanira. Okay. Vicky also. <laughs> Drink water. <laughs> when are you traveling? Ah, when are you traveling? La misma página de ayer, pero está bien hecha la pregunta. ¿Cuándo viajas? Very good. When are you traveling? Mauricio. We are you working? Where or who? Como? We, we, where, where are you working? Ajá, ¿dónde vas a trabajar? Perfecto. Very good. Claribel Rosales, ¿ya estuvo o no, verdad? No, teacher. Ok. What are you doing more night, teacher? Ah, uh, what are you, exactly. Solo que more night, no. What are you doing tonight after class? Ok. Perfecto. Pero es tonight. tonight, esta noche, después de clases. Tonight after class. Tonight. Perfecto. Okay. What are you doing tonight after class? Sleep. <laughs> Dormir. <laughs> yes. Okay. Diana. Um, quiero ver. What? No. Where are you living? Where are you living? To my bed. <laughs> ¿Dónde te vas? <laughs> A mi cama. Ok. Ok. Abraham. Teacher, pero quise decir dónde vive. No. Ah, espérese, Abraham. Entonces, where are you living? No, era, no la hice bien. Lo que pasa es que, ajá, no, entonces es dónde estás viviendo. Where are you living? ¿Dónde estás viviendo? Ah, living. perfecto. Sí, living. Lo que pasa es que sí, ahí es bien diferente. No se diferencia casi. No es living, ajá. por ejemplo. La otra es living. Si ustedes ven en el chat, no tienen ninguna uh -huh. diferencia. Una es living y la otra es living. ¿Y living. cuál es la diferencia, teacher? La I de la EA es un tantito más larga. Uh -huh. Una es living y la otra es living. Living. Ajá. Ok. Que es living, la primera es viviendo y living, la segunda es dejando oyendo, por eso es que yo entendí ah, dónde okay. me estoy yendo, ah, para mi cama. Okay. <risa> okay. What, what is the why. difference in pronunciation, please? Eh, one is short and the other is long. That's the difference. Living, 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 ajá, living igual. exactly. Perdón. Se pronuncian igual. Sí. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Living. Nosotros los los latinos no la vamos a diferenciar. Aún a mí me cuesta. Una es una I corta y la otra es una I larga. ¿Y cómo, profe? Una es algo así como living y la otra es como living. Ah, ok. Esa es la única diferencia, pero ya a veces en contexto cuando habla es bien difícil diferenciar. Ok, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Paris Abraham, sorry. Oh, my God. No problem, teacher. Uh, my question is, what is the reason of traveling to Bali? Ah, <laughs> I mean, what is the reason to traveling? What is the reason to, uh -huh. what is the reason to traveling? Why la razón para viajar a Bali? Because I like the place. I have seen, I have seen, yeah, I have seen some pictures of Bali and I imagine that place. Well, uh, my wife is always afraid to living in a beach because she always say, imagine a tsunami and something like that. But I like to live in a, I mean, in a, in a beautiful place like Bali. I mean, you can see how the, the, the huts are. I mean, the cabins, or you can say the cabins are there. Como están las cabañas ahí. Y te imaginas el amanecer, and the, sun, the sundown, the sunset and everything. That's why I like Bali. Hmm. Also, I have many places that I would like to visit, like Japan. Zaira, usted me falta, verdad? Okay, Saira. Nos hemos pasado ocho minutos de la, de, de, de la lista, pero hagamos con Saira, the last one. Uh -huh, Ajá, Saira. Where, where are you going on vacation? 
where are you going on vacation? Perfecto. ¿Dónde vas a ir en vacaciones? Eh, probably, probably to the beach. I'm saving a, a, a few money to go to the beach. Okay. Okay, go Teacher, for the, Hi. Yo solo quiero que me digas si está bien la que hice, porque hice una, Yancy. Ah, Yancy, perdón. Ah, okay, okay. Yancy, sorry. Uh -huh. What are you ta taking for dinner? What are you having? En este caso es having más que todo. Es ¿Ah? what having. What no, pero también having? es taking. Sí, ¿qué estás, ¿qué estás cenando o qué vas a tener para la cena? Sí, ajá, very good. Ajá. Take okay. dinner, have dinner. Sí, what are you taking for the dinner? And maybe, mm, what, what is, uh, so, let me see, tamales. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take tamales. Yeah, tamales. Perfect. Salvadorian food, tamales. Okay, Salvadorian food tamales. Let's go for the attendance list. Never have full house, always is missing too. Salvador is still missing and I think so that uh, Bernardo is still missing. Today is, ah, okay. Me, no, sorry. Bernardo Javier Aquino. Fátima del Carmen Portillo. Present. Very good. Floridalia Turcios Luna. Present teacher. Mauricio Majano Escobar. Present teacher. Nuria Elizabeth Nerio Vargas. Present teacher. Rocío Katia Maritza Martínez Cubías. Present teacher. Okay. Ruth Joana Alvarado Gaitán. Present teacher. Salvador Edgardo Escobar Vázquez. Está. Saúl Adolfo Beltrán. Present teacher. Nancy Guadalupe Erazo García. Present. Ok. So. Let's go for the page. Ok. What are we going to work for today? Listen very carefully the instruction. ¿Qué van a hacer? Van a contestar escrito, o si quieren su cuaderno o donde toma notas la única parte que hay que contestar las otras partes son solo de hablar viendo la imagen, por favor hoy, limítese olvídese de su español igual, voy a estar pendiente del chat, that's my promise pregúnteme, what's the meaning of, ok, Para, porque hay nuevas, un montón de nuevas palabras relacionadas a algo pero no va a haber necesidad de hablar en español. ¿Ok? Y es más, en la página no hay necesidad ni de escribir mucho. ¿Cuál es la necesidad hoy? Que hablen. Van a haber estructuras en presente simple con WH questions y estructuras en presente continuo con WH questions. La página de hoy, I am very proud of. Estoy muy orgulloso de la página. Me encantó encontrarla porque siento que se ajusta mucho y es más de hablar, por favor. Try to speak in English, okay? About the pic that you see there. Very talented. Oh my God, no, that's not. This is, this is how I do it. Yeah. So, this is how I do it. 13. Okay, so that's it. The page is there. Making questions in the present continuous tense, okay? Let's gonna make the groups. Okay, if you see, you have seen there a peak. You are gonna talk about the peak. And just the part where it says, insert the right question, work and answer the questions. Coloque la específica question work y, pre, y conteste las preguntas. Pero después de eso es solo para hablar. Y me encanta porque tiene tres, cuatro preguntas con cada una de las. Eh, WH question, ¿ok? Pregúntenselas. No es que mira y quiere decir, si algo no sabe, please ask me, teacher, how do you say? 
how do you pronounce even in the eh, voy a tratar eh, en el chat voy a estar más activo hoy aunque voy a andar por todos los grupos como siempre ok so let's gonna create Three, 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 three. Okay. Those are, my God, very late. Very, very late. Uh -huh. oh. mm. Solo la parte donde dice insert the right question word, ¿ok? Inserte la WH question word que es la correcta. <laughs> ¿Ah? Ah, uh, I didn't understand. I didn't get it. Okay. okay, only that part, only that part we are going to, to Exactly to complete. answer, and after that you have just to speak as by example, what general question, what is the Capitan doing? Ah, maybe the Capitan is, I don't know, imagine you don't have to be very clear, but the Capitan is, uh, I don't know, the Capitan is shouting. The captain is saying something. The captain is calling to a boy, is, ca is calling to somebody. What are mm -hmm. the seagulls doing? Seagulls son gaviotas. Seagulls. Seagulls. Huh? Seagulls doing. Okay, ah. they are eating the sandwich. I don't know. I mean, but you have to create a question <laughs> and remember what do you have what you have to do. Okay. Clear? Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. how, how do you say what? How do you say? How do you say? Seagull. No, no. Coast. Seagull. Coast. Huh? Coast. 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 It's Costa. It's Costa. Or... Yeah, coast. In this case, yeah, coast. 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 Yeah. Uh huh. Seaside. Why are seaside. the seagulls getting around? What are the people at the sea? Why are the people at the seaside? Seaside is como la orilla. Okay. Seaside is como la orilla. Seaside. 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 Okay. Como la orilla del mar, ¿ok? okay. Solo en la parte donde dice inserte la pregunta correcta es la que tiene que trabajar escrita. Las otras son habladas. Hi. I don't understand the when the page I don't understand. Oh my darling. Just you have to write down the WH question that are missing in the in the in the last in the last exercise. Solo tiene que escribir la WH question que faltan en el último ejercicio. En donde dice inserte. Todo lo demás es ejemplo, entonces. Todo lo demás es para que usted hable, para que usted pregunte, para que los demás contesten. Los demás solo tienen que hablarlo. Ah, entonces podemos hacer las preguntas y que cada quien responda. Exacto, exacto. Ah, o sea que hoy es y, más y hablar. Lo de abajo ya sí es de completar, pero Solo primero lo de hay abajo. que pasar todos los cuadros. Primero para mí, a la inversa, Rocío. Mejor primero completen lo que hay que escribir y luego se quedan en la parte hablada. Ah, ah. Cada quien, por ejemplo, cuando haga las preguntas con who, who is shouting, por ejemplo, en la pregunta 9, who is shouting? ¿Quién está gritando? Ah, ¿quién está gritando? En you see the pic, ¿quién está gritando? Who is shouting? Ok. Who is shouting? Ah, the captain is shouting. El capitán está gritando. Who is laughing? Ah, who is laughing? The eh, children are laughing. Ah. The children, the children, are, the children are, are laughing, exactly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Who is eating the sandwich? Ah. ¿Cómo se dice? How do you say pelícano en inglés? Pelícano, eh, gaviota decía yo que era, no, pero es pelícano. Sigo. 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 Ahí está. Sigo. Está en donde Seagull. how many. Uh -huh. uh, how many uh -huh. seagulls. Seagulls. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Thank okay. you. The boy in the red cap pointing out. Whose is what? Whose is the boy in the uh -huh. red cap pointing on pointing at? Eh, vamos, no, no, yo la pregunta. Who is? No, va. En la parte final, insert the right question ah. word. And then for the question. Exacto. Ah, perfecto. Ajá. Who's? ¿A quién está, a quién está apuntando el chico? Exacto. Uh -huh. ¿A quién está apuntando el chico con la, con la, con la, con la, con la, eh, la, la con la qué? Cap. Eh, red cap. Red de la cachucha roja, algo así. Ajá. Exacto. De, es, de hecho es Pointing red cap. Es apuntando, ¿verdad? Pointing es apuntando. Ajá. To the man with the red shirt, por ejemplo, podríamos decir. Por ejemplo, podríamos decir que está apuntando al hombre con el, con, con qué? Con la camisa roja, aunque the posiblemente le esté apuntando. Podría estar apuntando to the seagull. Aunque juez, ajá, to the seagull o a la, al pelícano o gaviota. Oh, yeah. Vaya, pero ahorita completen y después solo hablen. Las otras preguntas son solo para hablar. Ah, por ejemplo, la de, la de, la de, la, la de dice, where is the captain? ¿Con, ¿Dónde está el capitán? En la parte de arriba. Where is the captain? In the park. <laughs> in the ship. Ship is park. In the ship. Chip es oh, okay. Chip. Chip. Yeah. No, don't worry. C -H -E -A -P. Chip. C no, S-H-I-P, porque C-H-I-P son Chip. papas. <laughs> ok. Sí. Ok. Ok, vaya. Ok. Number three. Number three is the life. Boy, who is the life boy? Yeah, who is who the, the life, life boy? One, two, one, two, three. Who? Yes. Yes. Who? Sí. But I dice who is the life boy? Uh huh. Pero ese creo que es error de dedo. <laughs> Pero igual vamos a revisar, verdad? Numbers are there on the side in the boat. What in the numbers? what? Number on four. The, no. In the boat. In the boat. Mm -hmm. In the boat. Oh, of the boat. Of the boat. Of the boat. What? What number are there? Yes. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. No. What? 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 Uh -huh. What? What? Yeah. What? what? Teacher, are you seeing is, uh, like, a, like a children? Bueno, son como niños, pero no sé cómo uh -huh. se dice en inglés. Like a, like, like a children. Se ha dado cuenta del personaje que siempre dice, What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes. What numbers are there on the sign of the book? The uh -huh. question five is. Uh, when are when are the children's wear wearing on no, the on their no. feet? Uh-huh. No, but it is their feet. What uh -huh. are children exactly? What are what? men? What are children wearing on their feet? Yes, that's it. Abraham. Sandwich is the seaweed eating. Uh. Ah, a ver, Life Boy es salvavidas. Oh. No es, ajá, es salvavidas. Life Boy es salvavidas. O sea que se refiere a la redondita aquella, ¿cierto? Habían unas mentas antes famosas, no sé si se recuerdan. Yeah. Salvavidas, de colores, ¿verdad, Abraham? Yes, exactly. Ajá. Life Boy, esas son salvavidas. Así son esas. Hi. I'm Philo. Yeah, something that you throw to someone to save them when they have fallen into water. Yeah, life war. Ajá. Entonces la pregunta es... Ajá, veamos. Ah, where, entonces... ¿Cuál es? Where is the life boy? Exacto, la... where is the life boy? Ah. Exacto, where is the life boy? 
¿Dónde está el salvavidas? That's it. Number one, number what, two. What three, meaning two. si a si, uh, Yo me six. confundo. ¿Qué son? ¿Pelícanos o gaviotas? Pelícanos, va. Um, no, son gaviotas. Son gaviotas. Que sí? Sí. La, es que el pelícano es el que trae la, la cosota así, va. Que trae no, una bolsa en el pico. Bueno, bolsa. Uh -huh. Ajá. Like a purse. Ese es el, la gaviota, ¿verdad? Sí. No, ese es el pelícano, sí. va. No, ese es el pelícano. Sí, es es cierto, gaviota. porque pelícano se dice pelicans. Ah, pues es seagulls, es gaviota. Seagulls, ya. Yeah. Son los que salen en Nemo. Ay. Yes. Ay. Uh -huh. <risa> Guys, Nemo. Abraham, sí es chistoso. Es, yeah, you see Abraham, very good. <risa> Speaking English. He's funny. He's funny. Ok, and, y entonces, sandwich is the seagulls eating. O sea que está diciendo que si sí, el sandwich es el alimento de las gaviotas. Sandwich is the eating. Sandwich. Is the seal eating? Mm. Uh -huh. Whose who sandwich is the exactly. seal eating? Exactly, whose? What number are there on the side of the, side. the box? Yeah. Oh, which numbers are there on the side? Oh. Which? Eh. Okay. What? Which number are there? On the side? Which number? Ah, uh, which number? No. So what many? numbers? What One. number? What numbers? Okay, as many numbers. ¿Qué yeah. números están o cuántos están ahí en la al ajá al lado del en la a la orilla del bote? Ah, okay. Okay. Sí, está, es que estábamos viendo cuál de todas. Ya habíamos pasado eso. Ah, ok. Teacher y which es. ¿Cuál? Pero cuando tiene ¿Cuál? una opción. Por ejemplo, que usted tuviera que decidir entre dos amigos. Usted dice which one. ¿Cuál de los dos? Ah. <risa> ah, Yo sé es what, what number. Uh -huh. numbers. Numbers. What numbers? What or oh, what? No, what? What's what nunca va así. Uh -huh. What numbers? What numbers? Okay. Uh -huh. uh, number, number five. Exacto. Is... ¿Qué números están en la orilla del bote? Se refiere, uh -huh. ¿cierto? Y es a los números que están allá, J, JCB 27, creo que es. Uh -huh. Los números yes. están en el, en la, en, en, afuera del bote. That's the uh -huh. point. Um, where right are the children? Huh? Where are what the are the children wearing on their feet? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They are wearing sandals. What is the correct? What is the, the right? What, what are? The are porque son cosas. What are? ¿Qué están usando los what niños en sus patas? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Qué están usando en las patas. Chancletas, como decimos aquí en El Salvador. In English, they are sandals. What are the children wearing? Una palco. What's the meaning of chancletas? <laughs> chancletas. What's the meaning of chancletas? How do you say chancletas in English? Chancletas. Chancletas. Yeah. Which? Which? Clary Rosales is always. Toma. Toma. Hello, teacher. Hi. Uh -huh. For which one do you go? For cuál van? Four. Number, number four. Four. Number four. What, what numbers? Size. What numbers? What number? Sí, porque se está refiriendo a los números que están afuera del barco. What numbers? Ok. What? Mm -hmm. Yes. At the children waiting on their feet. The meeting of wearing. Wearing is when you have to wear something like clothes. O sea, usar algo o ponerse algo, digamos, en el cuerpo. Algo así como ropa. No es, use no es para usar ropa. Wear es usar ropa. Ok. 
<laughs> I think about this question. Could we be what are the what are the children wearing on their feet? Yeah, on their feet. On their feet. Exacto. ¿Qué están usando los bichitos en las patas? <laughs> in Salvadorian ah. translation. It fits like a canilla too. Yeah, also. <laughs> ah, they, okay. they, they are using chancletas <laughs> or chanclas. They're using chancletas, yeah. Yeah, they are using chancletas. <laughs> but if you want the proper English, they are using sandals, okay? Sandals. Okay. The Sand proper the proper English. Okay. Yeah, the proper the proper way to say is sandals. Number five. What are the children waiting on their feet? Yes. What? Yeah. Um, is this on their feet? Okay. Number six. Time to show the seagull eating. Meeting on seagull. Seag seagull is gaviota. Ah. Seagull. Seagull. Sandwich is seagull eating. No, I got a second sandwich. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Which sandwich is the seagull mm -hmm. eating? No, no, porque no hay opción para elegir. Es uh -huh. el, el único sandwich que está robando, ¿verdad? Exacto. Entonces la pregunta sería. No. no, de quién? Who's? Who's? Exacto. De quién es el sándwich que se está comiendo la gaviota? Who's with S E? Who's, who's, who's sandwich? Who's? 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 No. Who's? Hello. Who's sandwich is the seagull eating? Ah, uh, no es. Who's? No es. Es who. Es, no, es who's, no who. Who's con ese. Exacto, porque es de quién. Ajá, ok. Es de Seagull, the new yeah. word. I'm here again, Rocío. What happened, Rocío? Teacher, uh, help us, please. Huh? Help us, please. Ok, tell me. How can I help you? In question number six. Uh -huh. Only the only the sandwich is the seagull eating. Uh -huh. So I can say says uh, I can which, say say which sandwich is the seagull eating. No. Porque How? no tengo esta no no tengo dos solo tengo uno no es cuál se está comiendo. Ah la imagen. <laughs> and how and how how many sandwiches? No tampoco. tampoco. Ah. Where? What? Tampoco, tampoco. Ah, where? Tampoco. Um, Ajá. Solo tiene un sándwich ahí, la gaviota. Exacto, por eso. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta obvia? ¿De quién es el sándwich que se está comiendo? ¿A quién se lo robó? ¿De quién es? Pero sí, entonces sí. no solo hay que agregarle el WH question. ¿Cómo no? Porque solo es Who's. <ríe> ya uh, enseñé que es Who's. Uh, who's, who's es de quién sandwich. es, exacto. Who's sandwich. ¿De quién es el sandwich? Okay. Who's. Who es de quién? Exacto. Ya lo dije en, la, en esta lámina. Les voy a compartir pantalla ahorita para que vean. Ajá. Dije, ah, en que esta. solo se refería a las pertenencias. ¿verdad? Exacto. Ajá. Who's, ¿Cuál quiero ver. Ajá. No, aquí, who's. Vea. Este, ve. Who's. who's. It is to ask about who the possess of something. ¿De quién es el sándwich que se está comiendo? Por eso Ay. era la pregunta. ¿De quién es el sándwich que se está comiendo? Whose sandwich no. the seagull no. is eating. ¿De quién es el sándwich que se está comiendo? ¿Ok? ¿You got it? Who's? Exactly. Who's? Bueno. Teacher. Hi. And, and I can uh, change who's is sandwich. No. No. 
who sandwich this. Ok. Sí, <ríe> no le queda claro, pero es que ese who's es una de las que es más difícil de usar. Who's y whom es de las más difíciles de usar. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok. Ajá, ¿cómo es? How is it? Which seagull is eating that sandwich? ¿A dónde? Number mm -hmm. six. ¿O which? No. Ah, ya están which. en which. Yes. Which, which seagull is eating the sandwich? Ajá. ¿Cuál de todas? No sé, ahí usted dele. The first one, la primera. The third one, la tercera. Dependiendo de dónde se mire. Puede ser la primera o la tercera. Yes. Vaya, pero esas son las que está contestando Mauricio, ¿verdad? Mauricio está contestando todas esas preguntas. Túrnense para preguntar, más que en este caso no necesito ya que, 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 las, que las escriban, necesito que se pregunten, ¿ok? Yes, eso hacemos. Ok. okay. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Qué hacemos? Eh, eh, it's we are doing. Eso es lo que estamos haciendo. Doing, doing. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Yes. It is we are doing. How many balloons are there? Balloons. The balloons. How many balloons? Uh -huh. four, How many balloons? Four, four balloons. Four balloons. Very good. Mm -hmm. Are there four balloons? Mm -hmm. There are. There are, sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> there are four balloons. There are four balloons. There are four balloons. Who is yeah. eating the sandwich? Who is eating What? the sandwich? Who is Who eating is the sandwich? sandwich? Who is eating the sandwich? The seagulls. Yeah, the seagulls. The seagulls. The seagulls. Just one. ¿Ah? No, a, a Vicky que es, eh, me imagino que estaba buscando cómo se decía el, el, el pelita, ¿no? El, la gaviota. Ah. Sigul. Sí, oh, sí, 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 How many seagulls are there? Are Saúl es aquí, Saúl está aquí también, veo que no le están preguntando. Aquí está Saúl. No, estoy, no ah. estoy, estoy preguntando en general. En general ah, para que me Ajá. ah, ok. Preguntar si algo es de, de él o de él. Ah, ok. Por ejemplo, whose boat is it? Boss? No, de ahí. Ah, ok. ¿De quién es ese bote? Ajá. Whose boat, whose boat is, is it? Exacto. ¿De quién es ese bote? Continue speaking in English. Okay. Okay. okay for, example, um, for example, a floor. Sí. Yes. Um. Yes. Can I, I want a question? The picture. Una pregunta de la imagen. Uh -huh. Yes. Ay, yes, do it. Usted solo hágasela. No le pregunte si ya la puede hacer. Hágasela. No, no puede. Flor, where are, to, where are the children? Oh, perdón, Fatima. No, don't worry. Let's do it. Let's, no do, le... it. Let's do it. No le entendí. No le escuché. Do, do it, do it. Yeah. Nuria, Nuria. Yes, I can. Yes. Which is the, which, which is one? The morning or evening? The last one? The last one, what? Uh, we think, uh, which, which is this? Do you think morning or evening? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Which is this? Do you think morning or evening? Maybe morning because the sun is very up. Or even uh, can be at the evening. No, no, no. It's morning. It's sorry, morning. Uh -huh. It's Sunday morning. Morning, yeah. 
Rocio, you know that you are the chosen one for today? What? You know that you are the chosen one for today? <laughs> no, but it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Everything is clear? Uh, for the moment, yes. Okay. Thank you. What? Which the man, the man, the man with the sunglasses, sunglasses, sunglasses. What about the sunglasses? sunglasses. It's correct. It's correct. Say the man with the sunglasses. The man with the sunglasses. Yeah. What is the man? Ah, yeah. The man with the sunglasses. Yeah. Yes. It's correct to say. It's correct to say. To, yeah. To say. Yes. Exactly. Yes. It's correct to say the man with glasses. Okay. Who's good? Is it the captain? The captain. Captain. The captain. Whose boat is it? Yeah, whose boat is it? Uh, is whose the cut time. Is whose whose, uh -huh. whose balloons are they? Uh -huh. Whose, whose balloons? balloons? Whose balloons are they? Whose balloons are they? Uh -huh. Whose balloons are they? Uh, the, um, the ship. Maybe the ship. The ship. Uh -huh. The ship, yes, yeah, the, ship. the ship. Okay. Um, Saul. Hello. Haga las tres preguntas usted y nosotros las contestamos. Okay. Uh, what are the children doing? What are the children doing? Doing. Yeah, doing. What are the children doing? What are... Three, three children. No. What are they doing? They are laughing. They are laughing. Laughing. Are... Teacher, ¿cómo sería? Laughing or laughing? No, laughing. Laughing. What meaning have... laughing? Riéndose. <laughs> exactly, that's it. Thank you, Abraham. <laughs> yeah, laughing. Yeah, laughing. <laughs> oh my God, Inora. It's it been divertido, Abraham. It's very fun. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Michael ya me está en los grupos. <laughs> because before Abraham. <laughs> Abraham canta, Abraham imita, Abraham. It's okay, you know. <laughs> um, 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 uh, I have to get out, guys, because we have to go also for the uh, exercise of our manual. Because you have to remember that this is for uh, also for our manual. We go for our manual, okay? Let's gonna see. 35, 36. Okay. Complete the questions, use the conversation above to help yourself, but we don't have to see the conversation. What is the word that is missing here? Mm -hmm. What is the word that is missing here? What, when, where, sorry. When are the materials when arriving? The materials? Exactly, the, se the second one, who is attending the conference? Very well. And the third one? Where is the meeting is taking is place? Meeting yeah, taking where place. is the meeting taking place? Very good, smart guys. So, remember, where WH question asks for a specific information. The structure is WH question word plus B plus subject plus verb plus ING plus complement. Example, why is he meeting the new people today? And you remember that if you ask, if you are asking with why, you have to answer with, with because. When is the new office launching? It is launching on 
Where is your boss having the annual meeting in? You have, you know, you have to give places. Fill in the blanks using the words in parentheses. Okay. Yeah. What company, sorry? Uh, what is the meaning launching? Launching is lanzamiento. Uh. Es lanzamiento. De hecho, creo que es la palabra que, que se usa ajá, para, para también con cohetes. No es launching, es lanzamiento. Okay. Launching. Uh -huh. Ajá. Sorry. Launching, ajá, es, de hecho es launch, es para tirar cohetes o misiles, es cierto. Ok, the space agency launched another rocket into the space. Ok, what company are you working for? Generalmente a veces cuando hago una pregunta con what, a veces uso for, what for? What company are you working for? ¿Para qué compañía trabajas? La siguiente, ¿cómo sería? Uh -huh. oh, oh. Oh, he device. How is he? How, how is he? How, how is, is he, he dividing? Exactly. ¿Cómo está okay. dividiendo en los grupos? How is he dividing the groups? Mm -hmm. Who is dividing the group? When? When? When is she handing the checks? When is she handing the checks? Okay. Is he handing the checks? Exactly. Okay. The for which. Factory. Which factory are your boss visiting this month? Exactly. Which factory are your boss visiting this month? Very well. Why? Why are the new secretary? Why are they... this next Why no? Why, are, Why are, are no? Why is exactly? Why, Why, is... Why is the new the, the new secretary? New Saturday. Secretary working the next Saturday. Por qué va a trabajar la nueva secretaria working. el próximo sábado? Because she didn't work last Monday, okay? Think of some future events of your classmate. Write five questions to ask your classmate about those events. Take notes of their answer, okay? But this we did yesterday. You have to think about uh, events in future. Remember that uh, the present progressive is it's also can be for the future because, I mean, when you use next Saturday, this month, I mean, and also these are actions for uh, future, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you have any question here? Teaching in this case, in the example of the table, we use the will, right? I will, no. No, 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 no there are no. How is he dividing the group? When is she handing no. the checks? Uh -huh. no, the next teacher, the next uh, cuadro, huh? the questions. A donde las preguntas, ¿cuáles preguntas? The five, uh, esa, esa. No, son, son siempre the... usando el presente progressive, Abraham. Oh, okay, okay. They are always using the present progressive. Okay. Okay, teacher, thank you. No, 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 the, no, the fit, no, the simple future, the present progressive future or the uh, present progressive as future meaning. Okay, let's go to see the page. Okay, I'm gonna ask about the page. Voy a pasar lista, and after we go for the question about the page, okay? Try to be on the page when I start to ask in order you can answer, okay? Okay. Let me see that we are here. Hey, America Garcia. Bernardo Aquino. Diana Martinez. Present. Ever Candray. Present, teacher. Fatima Portillo. Sorry, teacher. Present. Well, welcome, America. Very good. Thank you, Fatima, also. Flor Turcios. Present. Anira Arevalo. Present teacher. Jorge Argueta. Present teacher. Mauricio Majano. Present teacher. Nuria Vargas. Present. Abraham Rivera. Present teacher. Rocío Martínez. 
Present teacher. Joana Alvarado. Present teacher. Zaira Velázquez. Present teacher. Salvador Escobar. Sara Jiménez. Present teacher. Saúl Beltrán. Present teacher. Vicky Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Nancy Erazo. Present teacher. Claribel Rosales. Present. Thank you. Ok, vamos a la página. La tienen lista para contestar as, as soon as possible. As up. Remember, as up. As soon as possible. Ok. Ever. Who is the boy in the red cap pointing that? Va, está bien. <laughs> ah, ok. Add to the, to the seagull. I think so to the seagull. Ok. To the seagull. Very good. Rocío. Who is putting his tongue out? Who is putting his thumb up? I don't um, mean, I don't know who is. Uh, they, they, who is, they, ah, who the is girl? Man. the girl? The okay. old man. The old, no, man. The, the old man too. Ahí van. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Who is putting his tongue out? Who is putting? The second question, teacher. Ah, his tongue out. Uh, maybe, the, 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 maybe the man. I mean, the man like a. Uh -huh. He's looking like. like he's mind. doing like a. Yeah, I think so that the man with the sunglasses over his head. That's it. I think so. That is like a. It's a kind of nasty because the seagull is eating the sandwich. Está un poco así asqueroso porque la, la gaviota se está comiendo este. El, la, la gaviota se está comiendo el, el, el sandwich. Exactly. Sara. Where is the life boy? Where is the life boy? Life. Ah, on the boat. On the boat. Life boy. Fatima. Uh, yes. What what numbers are there on the side of the boat? I saw 27. I see 27. Yeah. Teacher, there is two and seven. Yeah. But, but you can use uh, how often? No, no, no. Este, este, how many? How many numbers are? Eh, no, porque me está preguntando cuáles, no cuántos. Mm. Es cuáles nombres, cuáles números, what? Que en este caso es cuáles, cuáles números. Okay. How many sería cuántos números están ahí? Uh -huh. Fatima, okay. did I answer you? Did I answer you? Sí, le contesté, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, thank, thank you. Jorge. Hey, teacher. Uh, what are the children? We riding on, on, the, on their feet. On, the, on their feet. They are weeding on their canillas on their patas they are wearing chancletas <laughs> yeah they are wearing <laughs> chancletas uh, well if you want to use the proper english they are wearing sandals okay están usando sandalias okay mis tiempos no habían sandalias solo chancletas y de esas de meter de hule las balco miserazo <laughs> Claribel, mucho se ríe y la oímos. <laughs> Dígame, Nancy. Sí. Which sandwich is the seagull eating? Who's? En ese caso es who's, who's. Yancy. Who's? Who's? ¿De quién es el sándwich que se está comiendo la gaviota? Of the man, of the man, I mean. He was eating in the seagull. Take up. That's it. Abraham. Hi. Uh, what is the number? Numbers. No, no, seven, seven. right? 
Miren, no les dije, aquí ustedes han ido preguntándome en orden. Yo no les dije que ah, no okay. preguntaran en orden. Pregúntenme, whatever. What is the captain holding? What is the captain holding? Maybe a tie? A tie, yes. Yeah, a tie. And yeah. he's screaming. Yeah, but I think so that is a tie. Because uh, always when you go on a boat, you have to tie it. Joanna. Teacher. Again. De verdad. Pero, no se preocupe. Pero es que vale. dice que venía, cuando me conecté venía de camino. Entonces, y ya hoy en la noche que estaba en la clase, se estaba con dolor de cabeza, todo se sentía mareado. No, yo no colaboré en el grupo en nada. No entendí nada. <risa> so sorry. Bueno, vaya, entonces va a tener que ver la clase, la sugerencia para que no se lo vaya a perder en la okay. continuación. Ok. Very good. Don't worry, Joana. Claribel. Activaré mi micrófono, espere. <laughs> <laughs> Dice, where are the men's sunglasses? Ah, where are the men? I mean, men sunglasses. No men. 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 Sunglasses. Uh -huh. Ah, pero ya sé que me está diciendo. Where are the men's sunglasses? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Por eso. Eh, let me see. Yeah. Where are the men's sunglasses? They are over his head. Okay. Okay, teacher. Very good. Flor. Teacher, yo estoy igual que Joana. De, <laughs> bueno, igual Fatima le puede decir yo no ayudé en el grupo porque no, no entendí. Estoy más perdida que. Pero ¿por qué no entendió? Porque. O sea, no, quizás no, como usted dice, venían de camino y les costó entrar al principio de la clase. O no entendieron porque el profesor no explicó bien. No, es porque yo entré tarde a la ah, clase. Vale. Sí me conecté como a las 8 y 30 y algo, creo, vale. pasadas. Sí, ok. Bueno. Then, no, as a suggestion, no se preocupen. Entonces, as a suggestion, como sugerencia, as a recommendation, see the class after in YouTube, please. I mean, okay. Because you need to do the exercises and, you, and I need you to understand the class to do the exercises, ok? Okay. Okay. Diana. Ahorita, teacher. Um, which is this, do you think, morning or evening? Ah, which is this? Do you think morning or evening? I think so is morning. Okay. I think so is morning, yeah. Thank you. Nuria. Have you asked me? Ya me preguntó, Nuria. I don't know what's happened to her. Oh, perdón, teacher. Tenía apagado el micrófono. Ah. Where are the children wearing caps? Ah, uh, where, I mean, pues, where are the, That is, where, uh, Where are the children wearing caps? Where uh -huh. are it? Where, where, where? Uh, they are in the seaside? Yeah, I is where, no? They are in the seaside. Ellos okay. están en la orilla. They are okay. in the seaside. Vicky Dinora. You have open, you have closed the mic also, Vicky. I don't know if you are, como tienen la cámara apagada, algunos no sé si están hablando. Okay, Rita. Why are the single getting round? Why are the seagulls gathering, gathering around, gathering round? Gathering round. Gathering, maybe because they smell uh, food? Quizás porque olieron comida. Okay. Yes, Saúl Beltrán. Hi, teacher. Uh -huh. Was Baro are, are they? What? Was, was Baro are what? they? What balloons? Ah, what, what balloons? Barrow. What balloons? Let what me balloons? see. 
Uh -huh. What balloons? That is what? What balloons are they or whose? I mean, what balloons are? That is the question. What? Did it start with what? Mm -hmm. Oh, who's let me see. Who's Perdón? Who's the, the question? Maybe, por eso es verdad. Whose balloons are whose they? Whose balloons are they? De quién son los, ajá, de quién son los globos que están ahí. I think so that they belongs to the children. Ellos lo pertenecen, creo que a los niños. I think so. Or maybe the captain is on party. O quizás el capitán está de fiesta. <laughs> <laughs> Mauricio Majano. <laughs> Uh, where is this? Where is the the ship? Where is the ship? Oh my God! So I think so that the ship is on the shore. Está en la orilla de la costa. The shore. So así se dice okay. shore. What shore? Shore. Dígame, Abraham. Before. What so, is the meaning? What is the meaning of cheeky or shaky? I don't know. How cheeky are the seagulls and the how? How? It's down, it's down to how. Ah, uh, yeah. How many, man. how many, how many? How cheeky are how the cheeky. seagulls? Vamos a ver, cheeky. Cheek sé que es mejilla, pero no sé a qué se refiere, fíjese. Cheek. Ah, okay. Cheeky. Okay. Oh. Chiqui, oh my God, chiqui, chiqui, ajá, <laughs> es, ¿cómo es? La pregunta, sorry, again. How, that's it, sorry. How chiqui are the seagulls? <laughs> ¿Qué tan descarada es la gaviota? <laughs> That's chiqui, descarado, <laughs> insolente, impertinente. That's chiqui. Ajá. Eh, ya en un sentido más informal es como atrevido. What chiqui are you? ¿Qué atrevido eres? I mean, that's it. Eres oh, destraba. Chiqui. ¿Ah? No, nothing. <laughs> ok, chiqui. That's atrevido, descarado, insolente, impertinente. That's okay. That's cheeky. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué tan descarada es la gaviota? Very cheeky, muy descarada. Very le dijo que le llegó a quitar todo ahí. Zaira, y con eso nos vamos. Zaira. Ok. Um, how many ships are there? How many? Ships are there. How many chips are there? I mean, just one, I see. Just one. There is one chip. Solo hay un barco. There is one chip. Okay, guys, the class have finished. Please study do your exercise. Have sweet dreams. Please rest. Uh, enjoy your night. And see you tomorrow. Okay, please don't miss any class. Please be on time. And the one who couldn't uh, understand the class, please, I, I, I recommend you to see the class again. Okay, bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Thank you, Have teacher. Have a nice night. Bye. Thank you to be here. Good night. Good night. Have a good night and sweet dreams. Rocio, just America is here. America, can you get out, please? I mean, she has the last. Okay, America, bye. See you next class, America. Good night, teacher. Good night. Uh huh, Rocio, tell me. Hello, teacher. Hi, Rocio. How are you? How do you feel after the vaccine? Uh, I this day I am okay. All right. Did you I go to fine. work? Yes. No. Okay, you had to work. Yes. Oh, okay. Also, you have, I mean, yesterday, I was, I, I, I was posting a meme that it was, when you are taking the vaccine and you look like a, okay, man, but after the vaccine, you are like. <laughs> Horrible teacher. Yeah. Huh? 
So, but now you are at home. No, you are not at the home of your of your parents because I remember that you the, the on on last Tuesday and Friday you were at the at your mom's office. No. Yes, but uh, uh -huh. I I I I had vacation for three days the, the last week. Ah, okay, you have vacation. Ah, yes. that's why so you were. I, I went. Went. I went to San Miguel. Ah, really? Uh -huh. the, 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 the your parents live there. Yes. Ah, where in San Miguel? Chinameca City. Ah, really? I have family in San Miguel. Well, my family lives in uh, a, a little bit up. I mean, that is called uh, Las Placitas. That is a street to San Jorge. Ah. Yeah, I have family there in Chinameca. So your mom has a bit. Your mom have a bit has a business because she were in the office or she or she my, works in my, another place. My mom is a, a lawyer. Ah, she's a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, that's why she has a buffet. Yes. Ah, okay, that's okay. So, do you have any question about the contents? No. The contents, no. But I, I need a an extra explanation. I don't know. No, but other other things. Okay, tell me. I I need to learn more vocabulary. I think so that the page for today was very good for vocabulary, no? At least yes, for C but, vocabulary. But, but but I can read uh for example uh, a little book or or uh, yeah. something you recommend. Uh what can I recommend you? So now there are some apps that, that that can help you. Did I tell you the last, the first course that you can go for? That uh, there is one app. I think so. Let me see. That is, if you can taste parallel text IO languages. That is a good a, a good app. Uh, and, and you can write it. Parallel text. I mean parallel text. At IO languages. That's it. A parallel X IO languages. That is the name. Parallel X at IO languages. And yeah, it's a free X. app feature? Yeah, it's a free app. Yeah, it's oh. a free app. And there, I mean, I don't know if you can see by here. You're gonna find like that. Let me see. That's parallel text IO. I wanna see. Yeah, parallel text IO. And after okay. you are gonna find the language, I mean, and you choose the language that you speak and you choose the language that you would like to practice. And that is English. And there appear many books in which you can read in English, but also if you point on the sentence, it will show you the pronunciation of the words, all the sentence. That's why uh, I think so that it's a good, uh, it's a good uh, app for you. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I mean, uh, one of the recommendations that I did, I don't know if I did here, but if you want, you can go and look for uh, some secondhand things. I don't understand what is second. Secondhand, you know what is secondhand? No? De no. segunda mano. Ah, okay. You can go there and look for some books. Always they have books that nobody wants. Siempre tienen libros que nadie quiere en inglés a 50 centavos de dólar, a un dólar máximo. You can buy them. O sea, you, you have to comprelos. Y aunque le cueste, vaya, el primero, los primeros tres libros de una oración va a entender dos palabras. Pero a medida vaya leyendo, you are going to get more vocabulary. Because Im imagine like in your career, you are a chemical, no? You are a chemical engineer. So yes, you have yeah. to read a lot to know the technical vocabulary of your area. Okay. Uh, that's the same in English. If you need to get the vocabulary, you can look for some books in English in which the first one, when you read, maybe you, when you read, you are going to say, oh, no, it's very... I'm getting bored because I don't understand. But as much as you read, you are gonna understand almost everything. Okay. 
That's it. Any other question? Mm. No, only, only. Only that. Mm. Okay. No, but you have at least like two minutes more. I think so. To ask yeah. something. Mm -hmm. And how can I uh, mm -hmm. pronunciation? Uh, how can work? I improve? Improve? No, because I I learn, but I don't have how pronunciation. Por eso, how can I improve? That's the point. ¿Cómo puedo mejorar mi pronunciación? That's it. O cómo saber cómo se pronuncia, porque no ah, me yeah. How do I know how to pronounce? How uh -huh. to pronounce? Uh -huh. How do I know how to pronounce the words? Uh, just there are two ways. Maybe one way is going for a dictionary. I mean, in learning, but you have to know uh, to read some sign, some symbols. Es que lo veo los símbolos, pero no sé cómo, qué significa. Vaya, entonces, mala opción. La segunda opción es listening to music or maybe uh, going to the, uh, por ejemplo, in my phone, I have word reference. Esa es la que yo tengo. Uh -huh. No sé si... Y ahí hay un lugar donde usted tiene un icono de, de, de audio y ahí pronuncia, por ejemplo, y ahí le dice cómo pronunciar. Mm. O sea, pero la mejor forma es oyendo música, por ejemplo, porque cuando usted oye música, aprende a pronunciar mucho. As by example, eh, bueno, entre las que he cantado yo, como por el, If you leave me now, por ejemplo, o qué sé yo, eh, another one, I don't know, eh, Ah, uh, dice uh, down to Corky Park, listening to the wind of We don't change. Exactly. So that's it. I mean, when you when when you listening to music, I mean, you 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 you, I mean, you get your 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 ears uh, listening, 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 listening. Okay, that's the way to pronounce. For me, it has been uh, the best way because I can read the symbols. Okay, I can read the symbols. But for me, it's better. I learned uh, many words because I listen to a song. Ah, that's the way to pronounce the word. Okay, uh, instead okay. of going to the to the book because I have a book. My, the, in my case, I have this, and I have to go with the vocabulary, and I can read the symbols. I know what is a theta and something like that. I know, but it, for me, it's better. I mean to to listening to music. I mean, maybe to listening for a music, for a song that uh, has that uh, words. And you start to listen to and you get, you improve your pronunciation. Okay. That's it. Any other question, Rocio? No, teacher. Okay, then I think so that it's time to go, okay? So okay. Uh, have your dreams, please, before. Uh, you have to do the, your exercise. I know that you left them at the end. When I say on Saturday, okay, teacher, I do it right, right now, okay? <laughs> yes. Okay, but there is no problem, okay? okay. See you tomorrow. I'm See happy you because you, you, you get nice. better from your basin, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye, teacher.